Hello everyone, welcome to another motor blog on my channel. My name is Marshall3498. And on today's motor blog, it's gonna be motorcycle related as usual. This is up really on my second motor blog on uh, my little Honda 300 LS. Uh, same thing as the 300L, just a little bit different uh, color scheme. Um, not Honda red, mainly gray more than anything, which is not typical for Honda. Uh, but it is a LS for a the S sense for short um, and I've not really got a chance to ride this bike in like two or three weeks, so uh, It's kind of refreshing. Uh, we've had a lot of rain uh, Hence all the grass on the road from people mowing it. people stop doing that. You have any idea how dangerous that is to motorcyclists anyways moving on um I, uh, today's motor blog is going to be motorcycle related as usual, like I said, and uh, today's motor blog is going to be something, uh, you know, about like three main things, as they say on YouTube, as hate, uh, three things, instead of, I'm going to make it three things instead of five, because I can't really find five things I hate about this bike. One is Honda's uh, lovely, as I just did a minute ago, uh, lovely switching the horn and the turn signals uh, you know most motorcycles the horn is at the bottom Honda and their great wisdom put it in the middle I've kind of got used to it now uh, but you know I have a Yamaha uh, FJR 1300 and its horn is in the more traditional Japanese motorcycle horn placement and that is underneath the turn signal but I digress um, but that's one that's the main gripe that I, I do on this bike almost every time or maybe every other time that I hit the go to reach turn signal to be proper and safe and all that and let anybody know surrounding in front and back of me what I'm doing is is a horn placement the second one is kind of the on off Honda jerky throttle thing it's not terrible but like right now I'm I'm rolling on the throttle and then letting off the main thing that I found when it's kind of weird is like where this bike uh you know has such a low first gear to let out the clutch and take off and then even before i can pull the clutch in that fast it literally already just falls on its face or the thing that i noticed it the most the herky jerky throttle is um is really like taking a corner to slow down to a corner going to second or third gear and then letting back out on the clutch to turn when I let out the clutch and give it a little bit of throttle to keep a good steady throttle uh, through the corner, it just really just bu bucks pretty hard. Um, I don't know if the uh, ever so popular 550 performance uh, upgrade thing would solve that. Um, I know they have like an improved stock, but I don't know. I'm sure you could call the guy up and ask him like, look. I just want a little bit more power and I want that to go away and then um, best of my knowledge like if you buy one of those ECU's from him or send him yours to flash he will keep re, uh, re flashing it um, and the only thing he asks is that you pay the return cost which is kind of cool uh, I've done some look up on the guy and it's kind of a, like a, a mom and pop company and apparently the guy was some kind of motor engineer at one point um, or some type of engineer and he he does actually know what he's doing that I can tell um, super nice guy that is something that I might do in the future on uh, my particular Honda is um, not only for the jerky throttle uh, thing but um, but to also tame that down and, and I uh, the second reason for that I I really think that even though Honda is great at engineering reliable motorcycles. A lot of people really fear that these bikes are so lean from the factory um, to meet emissions that it's almost harmful to bike that that's why the jerky throttle thing happens because the bike's getting fuel, fuel, and then when you let off it, it doesn't have the feeling or the timing to cope with the rolling off of the throttle. Um, so if I could do those two things, I don't really need any more power. Just really uh, smooth it out and get rid of the jerky throttle, and maybe just a little bit more mid-range. I don't, I don't know if I'll ever do any like 
you know, like performance mod on this bike. Um, I've seen some videos on YouTube comparing just two regular everyday riders, not a scientific thing. Um, comparing like, you know, the difference in the power. It, it's probably a decent amount, but that's not why I bought this bike. If I want to go ride something fast, I'll go ride my Yamaha FJR 1300. But, um, that and uh, the third really uh, minor annoyance is the whole design of the 300L's headlight. Uh, the headlight is not a bad headlight uh, in its design, uh, but it's getting the headlight on and off. Um, I recently, uh, I did a couple mods to my, more mods to my bike uh, last weekend? Or the weekend before last, I can't remember, my days run together anymore. Um, but I had to end up taking that back off and to get that back on, I swear it took, I'm not even kidding, and, and I'm a fairly mechanically inclined person. I was a commercial electrician for over 10 years, um, so it's not like I don't know my way around tools and basic, you know, mechanical ability. Um, it literally took me like 45 minutes to get four screws back on and to get it back lined up. Um, the main reason why I took it off is to put... Um, that all that LED headlight, uh, the the Tusk one that I have in this one is a really good headlight uh, compared to the Slycops. It's less than half the price, and Tusk is a kind of, you know, is the Rocky Mountain ATV's more house brand. Um, and I figured if I could save half, you know, uh, they're a pretty reliable company. They make lots of stuff. Um, it's good value versus paying Slycop money for more than double the price, like $90 compared to 40. I thought it was a good uh, a good choice. A lot of people really swear by a lot of the Tusk stuff that they really you really get a lot for your money. And I've noticed that myself. I have a Tusk ship, uh, extended foot shifter on this bike myself. And it's, uh, it's really nice, um, not too expensive, really good machining, uh, excellent fit. Um, so, but, uh, you know, it's just, it's a lot of, a lot of stuff packed in one area. And I had the wiring, this is my fault, kind of tucked in the wrong spot and it took me forever to get it back on there. So the jerky throttle, the horn, and the headlight design, I know you're not gonna take it on and off, but if, you know, like past mods, like if I were to ever wanna get one of these turn signals or put the uh, auxiliary power uh, cord that I've got when I eventually put a tower of some sort on this i'll have to get back into that nah i'm not looking forward to it and it's it's not that it's a hard but it just could be done a lot better and a little more um more uh, you know better for the end user that's all i'm saying but you know um it's it's been a really good motorcycle so far mine still ha only has 71 miles on it but i enjoyed working on it doing lots of mods to it it's been a fun project. There's so much stuff. I'll, I'm eventually going to have to do a mod video because that's where there's like 12 things I put on this. Um, and one of them so far that I did not long ago is the uh, seat concept seat. Um, and this is my first time actually riding on it now that I think about it. And um, it's pretty nice. Um, it definitely makes the bike feel more full size. I got the XL one for it's a little wider to be more comfortable on a long touring day figured that was worth the price I didn't get the tall one it's just the regular like comfort standard not because you know you can get it like a, a, a low a medium which is like regular it's supposed to be OEM and a um, and like the regular one and then a tall I got the middle one is supposed to be like the same as OEM uh, thickness look at this car there little bitty car on the road on a county road and you just seen as I'm right behind them they're like almost a foot over the line people anyways but on that guys that's about all i got on today's motor vlog if you've not already done so please like share and subscribe leave a comment down below ride safe and have fun and we'll see you on the next one see ya